I'm Ken Spector, and I'm here today with your name? Tammy Farrell. Tammy Farrell. And what brings you here, Tammy? You know, I've, I've been joking with everybody, but when you are given a crown, I feel like you're given a microphone, and I want to stand up and be a voice for people my age and my generation, and I think that this is a great starting place. Oh, terrific. Have you seen the film yet? I have not yet. I've been excited. All week I've been actually really excited about this film. And do you know anything about this Chevron issue? I know, yeah, I know, I know a little bit. Not enough to be speaking about it and be like, wow, and educate you, but I, I've been aware of like what's been going on, and so I'm excited to see the film and get some more information. So let's get right into some of your eco habits. Yeah. Do you recycle? I do recycle. You do recycle. I do recycle. And what, what are some of the things that you do that you could recommend to people your age or any age that could help to better the planet? You know, I, I like to take simple steps. I, for example, I have a beach cruiser. I love it. And I ride my bike as often as I can or I walk, which people we take for granted, especially in L.A. Like L.A., we live in our cars. And so when I think of that, I can actually make make it to the store on my own. I can walk. I, I'll walk there. And I ride my bike, like I said, all the time. But simple stuff like just turning the light off when you leave a room. I mean, I think there's so many little things that we take for granted. And definitely recycling because I know that we get caught up in our daily lives and we're lazy and we just throw things away but it's just as easy to put it in a recycling bin as it is in a garbage can. And how do you feel about cars in terms of the new battery powered cars, the new Teslas coming out? How do you feel about vehicles in general, cars? You know, I think that it's good that we are continually advancing in technology and finding ways that we can, you know, better our own resources so that we don't have to continue to hurt our planet. But it's one of those things that's going to be weird and a challenge to see how things are going to develop over time because you have so many cars. I mean, we've had cars for how many years now? And so that we can do that transition into doing more fuel-effective vehicles. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for talking to thank me. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you.